Okay, so this year we're having a long cold winter with high winds and sub-zero temperatures and the birds, of course, need places to shelter. So one of the things I'm testing out now is these nesting roost boxes that are designed to be set out and have lower entrances so that birds like chickadees, titmice, and smaller birds like that, even bluebirds, if they show up early, can get out there. And we're going to put a game camera inside of it. This one has special lensing, so it focuses to a distance of just 18 inches. And we're putting together a 30-inch long box. Just happen to have this scrap wood laying around, and that's what I'm going to use to make it. So it's a mixture, kind of, there's some pine here, there's some oak. And we're using these hot glue sticks. This is hot glue by Gorilla, and it's supposedly good for all weather conditions. Now by the time I'm making this video, it's already been out since December, so I'm confident that it holds. I'm also using this high temperature, industrial commercial grade uh, hot glue gun. This thing worked really well too. I have a smaller, cheaper version, but it does not keep hot fast enough to keep the hot glue flowing when you're doing a larger project like this. These are adjustment screws that come with it that I did not use. You have a removable plate that supports it here when it's standing up. I take that off. This is the rough fit up here. And you can see this is rough cut lumber. And then I took these uh, 3 16 I think, diameter dowels, cut them off, drilled holes, stuck them in again with hot glue. And we're gonna run these on either side so that these are purchased for the birds once they get inside the shelter. And again, just hot glue, test fit. This shows the positioning of the camera. And I wanna see when the birds come in, so I'm enclosing this camera with it. And its perfect focal length is about half the distance. I also put predator guards on here. These are inch and a half diameter holes. And as you can see, there are two of them. And uh, they're down low so that the birds can get in and out. And the birds that are seeking warmth will be up in the higher parts of this uh, roosting box. And I'm using any loop AA batteries here. Those are high power batteries that should last a long time. And uh, going into setup here on this Bushnell. And this thing, again, this is December, well, Christmas Day. So we're just going to get it out there. And I did screw it to the tree. It is screwed from the support that I made here to the box. And every joint on the box is nothing but hot glue. So I want to see how well this is going to hold up. I'm going to put this thing together and uh, close off the end with a zip tie. Actually, several zip ties connected together. And to push it in, I did put that little stopping piece in there, but it does fall forward if you're not careful. And uh, then we just put the end piece on here, and I glued a little tab on the end of it so that I could use the uh, zip ties to hold it in place. And I have little eye screws here on the sides. We'll get these. I think I put three zip ties together so they would cover the whole back side of it. I'm also using zip ties on some of my birdhouses this year, which is kind of funny. And I'm putting those together with the hot glue too. I just want to see how well this stuff holds up to the weather. Now remember, this was put up December 25th. Since then, we've had heavy weather, 60 mile an hour plus wind gusts, and it is now February 27th. So this thing is still holding up great. I'm going to leave it out all summer, let it weather, and uh, see how it holds up. But it did survive the storms. And uh, I put the camera in there. Guess what? Not one bird has gone in this thing yet, other than to stick its head in to look around. None of them have gone in. None of them have used it. I have upright versions. Birds are not using those either, other than to look in and check them out. I put some bird seed in to bait it. And uh, even that, uh, they just grab the seed and fly right back out. So as it goes right now, the chickadees, none of these birds are using these boxes for shelter. But I'm going to leave them in place. We're going to see what happens. Maybe they'll just end up being wasp nests as summer comes along. And if that happens, I'll give you updates there too. We'll see what species of wasps move in. So what we get out of the whole thing basically is you can use hot glue by Gorilla for construction of these boxes and it holds fantastic rain wind snow freezing temps and uh, it does not come apart if it does later we'll update the videos and I'll give you an explanation now these are the natural holes that are existing out there that the birds are probably using for shelter but for now we're just gonna see how it goes thanks for watching that's what I'm doing just an experiment sharing it with you